Hi there, my name is Angie. This will be my first journal into the weight loss that I have been desperately trying to get rid of since I had my second baby. At the time, I weigh about 154 pounds. I'm going to try a couple of different things to lose weight. I have the Wee Fitness, which I have been trying really hard to get onto, but I have children who also would like to play on the beam with me at the same time. And for all of you with small children, you will understand that sometimes they would like to get involved at the same time. So that is going to be a bit of a challenge since I also live in the South. And for you who live in the South, you realize that it can be a really big challenge when it starts to warm up to, to go outside at all, period. Um, it becomes incredibly humid, hot, bugs, to the point where you can't even walk out to your mailbox and you're sweating and you think you're going to collapse. So I'm either going to have to find the time early in the mornings or late at nights because I also work from home until 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So this is going to be a fun challenge for me. I want to lose about 30 pounds. I know that doesn't sound like a lot to some of you, but 30 pounds is a lot to me considering I haven't been able to lose it. I'll lose a few pounds here and there and then I collapse and fall and I have a five and a seven year old. There's chips and candy and juice and all kinds of fun stuff all the time laying around my house. So. It becomes very tempting just to pick up one of their snacks and, and pretty much just start munching on it. And finding time to make a schedule to do that is, is incredibly hard for me. Um, at the moment, I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm not doing anything fun. I am a 40-year-old woman. Um, I don't feel 40, but as you start to age, the weight kind of comes off badly. Um, so it, it gets harder and harder to actually lose the weight. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of a journal here and there. Um, I'll try to do it on my very first day. Today's the first day I decided to do this. I have not stocked my kitchen. If any of you have any great ideas for this, let me know. I did Weight Watchers several years ago, and that plan worked wonderfully. And so I have a lot of the old Weight Watcher books here that I'm probably going to fall back on and use. Um... If any of you have an iPhone, there are some great free apps there. One of them is called Lose It. And so I just downloaded that, and it counts calories and tells you how much you should weigh and even gives you, a, you know, if you lose a pound and a half a week, that it'll be sometime by mid-July uh, that I can get down to my goal weight of about 130 pounds. So we'll go ahead and see. I also have some really rough spots in my body. My second child was a C-section, and for any of you women who've had a C-section, if there is some trick to get rid of that like extra skin fold that seems to have accumulated right around, right under the belly button, let me know because I, I don't know how to get rid of it unless it's just you need surgery. That's the only thing that I can think of. Um, I don't really need to lose 30 pounds. I'd probably be okay with 15. But if I want to get into that bikini, if I want to look really good in my clothes, I'm going to go ahead and try to attempt the 30. But I'd be happy at 15, 20 if I can get even get down to that far. Um, I'm also doing a few new ventures. I think I'm going to sign up for Avon, mostly just for myself because I actually like the cosmetic line, believe it or not. It's a, it has some really great products. I use this vitamin C stuff they had a long time ago, and I, I mean, my skin has never been better, ever. Um, I've always had kind of problem skin, so that's always been an issue also. So stick with me as I try to download this video now um, and stock my refrigerator. That's going to be within the next day or two. When I stock it, I'll kind of give you an idea of what I'm stocking it with, and I'll give you a little bit of my wee balance information maybe I'll even video uh, videotape myself a little bit on it I don't know I'm not exactly too keen on stretch pants at the moment I, I, yeah that's that's another video altogether 
So thank you for your time. I will go ahead and stop this video now, and I look forward to hearing from some of you if you have any great suggestions, any great motivations, anything that can help get me going. Um, weight loss for a 40-year-old mom, a busy mom, is a lot different than weight loss for a 21-year-old who has the metabolism of a 21-year-old. So I'm going to have to work twice as hard, and I'm sure that some of you out there have had this challenge before. So I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to talking to some of you. And I'm also going to do a few little things um, with my with my face as well and with cosmetics because I'm like I said I've had a really rough time with my complexion and I'm 40 years old I don't know when breakouts stop but you'd think by age 40 they would and so I'm going to try a few things to see how the products work and we'll kind of keep an update on that so I'll tell you what products I'm using at the time and let's see how those work on a complexion that isn't this perfect, you know, flawless skin at the same time. So I look forward to hearing from all of you in the future. And stick with me and wish me luck. And I hope to hear from some of you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.